Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to use the graph editor in Spline. I've created these two bones here and I'm just quickly gonna set some keys for them. So with both selected, I'm gonna set a rotation key on the first frame, go to frame 20 and set another rotation key and then select the two first keys and paste those at frame 40. And now I have them uh, moving back and forth here and now I'm going to change them a bit. I'm just going to start off with this one and show you what you can do with the graph editor. So open the graph editor and the way it works is with the key selected uh, you can change uh, the value currently it's uh, when it's set to linear it goes from 0 to 100% and 0 is the first key and 100% is the key coming after that. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make it go a little slow in the start and then pick up speed and then slow in the end. And to do that, we have the key selected, then we click base year, and now we have these handles here that we can drag. I'm just going to exaggerate it a little bit from default. And now when I play it back, you can see there's a difference between these two uh, bones here. I'm just going to uh, quickly set this base year of all keys and I don't need to do this manually I can actually go and just uh, click uh, control click the keys here and now the match uh, button here becomes active and now if I click the handles all the keys will now be the same and let's say I uh, wanted to uh, I changed uh, this one here to look like this and I want the other two to, to look like that. So the, uh, to do that, I select this one as the first one and then the other two, and then click the handles. Now if I play it back, you'll be able to see there's uh, quite a big difference between these two bones here. I could do this in another way, uh, but it would require a lot more keys, and the way to do that is to actually go in and set them manually, but you have a lot more control of, uh, of doing it you do it uh, with uh, the graph editor. Now one thing to note is that you can also overshoot uh, your curve so let me just start the playback here again and now I can actually go and drag these down. It doesn't need to go from 0 to, uh, to 100. I can actually also make it go up uh, quite a bit more. Now you can see it actually rotates past what is uh, what their original value was. So the last thing to, to note about the graph editor is that you can also set all the keys to be stepped. I'm just going to select all the keys here and then click the stepped key button. And what this does is it no longer interpolates between the, the key values. So you can see it's just jumping back and forth. Now if I go in and uh, let me just quickly set another key here and as you can see, here we have linear, set it to stepped, and now we have it actually just quickly switching between the different values. So I hope this video has been helpful, and stay tuned for more videos coming out soon.